63 high school robotics teams competed in Trenton Sovereign Bank Arena this past weekend. Students from North Brunswick, Trenton, and the town of Pennsylvania shared top honors in the regional first robotics competition. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Starting at the same time with identical kits of parts, more than 1,500 teams in eight countries have produced their own solutions to a particular engineering design challenge, framed as the rules of a game. Now, 41 regional competitions like this are determining who will compete in the final event next month. Among the honors to be won are college scholarships worth nearly $10 million. A quick glance at the six robots on the playing field during a match would reveal the two main strategies for scoring this year. Teams typically designed for either speed or ball handling, not both. But no one competes alone in first robotics. Each match pits three team alliances against each other, bringing a range of capabilities into play. Opponents in one match may be partners in the next. So by design, the formula for winning requires cooperation and what the students call gracious professionalism. I play soccer and it's like really tough and brutal and if you lose you are mad or angry or if something happens you're angry. But here it's just like even if um, you lose, you're still looking forward to competing again with them. Organizers say this interplay of competition and cooperation under the stress of time and resource constraints reflects the way things really work in the high-tech enterprises that offer the teams financial, technical and mentoring support. What makes the world go round today is innovation and what we need out of today's kids, tomorrow's leaders, tomorrow's workers, is a science and technology savvy population that can handle the new jobs that are being generated by the kind of companies trying to achieve new things. Even though it's, it looks like it's about robots, it's about kids preparing themselves for their future and for their lives and for their careers. And uh, we've seen some wonderful results, so we know it works. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Trenton.